Hello, good morning. My thought for the day is following many comments from acquaintances I've made over the years on my channel. It's interesting to see that with all the red flags, all the warnings and all of the good advice that might be able to be given. You guys still seem to get uh, entangled in the web of relationships here in the Philippines. You clearly have an idea set in your mind what life will going to be like when you hitch up with a beautiful Filipino. And of course, unless you have uh, to say what Calvin would say, boots on the ground, you're never really going to truly understand what life is going to be like or could be like here in the Philippines with your new found love. And sometimes it's a little frustrating when you you have conversations with your foreigner friend online and you give them good advice and I think they accept it for what it's worth. It's after all up to them how they uh, set in motion their own situation. But when so often red flags are so obvious to those that have been here a while and experienced so much of the Filipina relationship and they come in and they jump boots and all into what is their perceived special one and each day each hour they, encom they uh, encounter situations that we've talked about but they still refuse to see the writing on the wall. They march blindly further into the relationship when clearly it's ain't, it ain't going nowhere. And no matter how much they try and convince themselves of that fact, you can see them heading towards the cliff. And it's sad really because when you have a short period of time, maybe to rekindle the relationship here in the Philippines. It's important that that time is spent recognizing some of the faults, some of the disabilities that you will face if you pursue that particular woman. It's not a reflection on women per se, it's a, it's a reality of the two, the two minds clashing. The two minds on completely, you could say parallel lifestyles, but reality is that they're on a completely different track to the person who's come here as a foreigner. And you can see it, but they can't. They're still in that bubble, I suppose. I should call it a bubble, yes. A bubble of physicalness as opposed to common senseness, all bad words, but nevertheless, I think you get what I mean. Because if you're only thinking from the perspective that you feel good in yourself when you're with her, that's fine. That's just one of the, I you shall call it the green lights. But if all of the rest of the relationship is built upon so many red lights, uh, not red lights in a red light district, but red flags, so to speak. How can you really make sense of everything you have to face? If a relationship is smooth, easy running, cool, no problems at the start, at least that gives it a chance to get established. But if all you're being asked to do is provide motorbikes, cell phones, new clothes, money for the family, then surely don't you realize that you're just a meal ticket? And the thing is that there are 
hundreds of thousands of ladies out there that don't see life just as a meal ticket. Okay, of course they're going to appreciate or want the financial aspect of you in their life. But at the end of the day, there has to be more than that. There has to be more connection. And we've already spoken about communication. And many of you have written long replies, which are appreciated. But again, they tend to be, to use that expression, also a nosebleed for us reading them as much as they are of interest. Because communication isn't always about knowing the language, but it's about being able to get your point of view across. And if you aren't able to do that in a realistic way, it's always going to be harder. And again, the things missing from a Westerner's point of view, comradeship, uh, friendships, and how they, she reacts to those is important for a relationship. If you're going to live in her bubble and she's going to be the one that dictates who you can speak to, who you can say, what you can say, then you're in a situation where you're moving into a life of restriction. And that's not a relationship. That's a controlled environment. So it's very important that you realize that your partner has to realize that the money that you bring to the table is hard earned over many, many decades. But they don't grasp that, or many don't anyway, because many of them, of course, don't have a retirement fund. They aren't entitled to uh, old age pension necessarily unless they've done a government job then when they get their pension eventually they might appreciate the fact that there is no more money after the pension and you have to be very careful how you spend it and just likewise if you come here with five thousand american dollars a month well of course you're going to be in a different position than the majority who come here with around 1,000 to 1,500 as a retirement pension. And hopefully they bring with them a certain amount of savings that will enable them to plan out and put in place many more uh, future luxuries for you and your partner. So get real guys, start to uh, realize that the red flags are there for a reason and it's important that you take note of them don't keep making excuses oh she was under pressure at the time i can understand why she feels this way and and the behavior pattern oh well you know it's she's upset she's this don't keep making excuses for her do you think she's going to keep making excuses for your bad behavior i don't think so so it's about time you wake up, get real. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. The more thumbs up, the better. And uh, you have a great day. I think it's going to be a hot day. I went to the market in Bawong this morning to buy some hot, you know, some cat and dog food because it's cheaper than buying it by getting on a bus and going down the road here. It's quicker 